YouTube, what's good, man? Your boy Slim Nine Dime bringing you more content, man. More content. Y'all asked for it. I've been gone for two weeks. Finally dropped a video. Y'all asking for more videos, so guess what? More videos is what you're gonna get. More content is what you want it, so guess what? Let's hit Best Buy up real quick. Let's see what we can get price match, what we can catch on sale, anything of the sort, and let's see what we can get. Here goes another video for you. Let's go. All right, so there's definitely a few joints that I know I definitely want to pick up. Um, so I ain't really going to make this video about too long or anything like that because I already walked around in here, showed y'all on Tuesday what was there was nothing on sale. So we definitely going to have the price match. Um, so I ain't going to really show you guys too much. I just wanted to bring you along with me because you wanted more vids, more of your boy Slim Nine Dime. So I'm trying to bring it to you just the way you want it so i'm gonna walk around real quick there's a few items that i do know i want so i'm gonna have to put the camera down and do some price matching to figure out what it is what the price is and we're gonna go from there but uh nonetheless man shout out to everybody that let me know you know i asked the question like what games were you guys playing right now and you know you guys mostly said far cry 5 i figured that but like i said like I wanted Far Cry 5 in the beginning, but then, you know, as I watched it, some gameplay footage of it before it came out, I was just like, the whole level of intrigue, of intrigue just dropped dramatically. So I decided not to get it. That's why I picked up uh, Middle Earth um, Shadow of War, which I've been having fun with. I just got finished playing it not too long ago. But yeah, that was a pretty good game. So I picked that up instead. But nonetheless, man, Far Cry 5, I will look out for it, but I ain't gonna get it till it drops in price some. Cause all the Far Cry games to me just, they seem like they're the same. Nothing's really changing other than, you know, the uh, the scenery and where you're playing at. So I just, it's not a game I really wanna spend $59.99 on. So I'll wait for the price drop on that, but I will pick it up soon. Then yeah, man, the countdown is on. We are a few, week, a few weeks away from Infinity Wars, man. I cannot wait for that to come out. I have got to see that. Like I said, I waited on Black Panther a few days because I don't like dealing with the big crowds and stuff selling out because they try to upcharge you for trying to get tickets online. So I just didn't feel like going through all that, but it was still selling out as I was trying to see it. But this one, I don't even care, man. I have got to see it opening weekend whatever uh premiere night thursday whenever i can i'm going to see that movie i think it's going to be totally ridiculous anyway real quick i'll just show y'all the quick uh two for 30 so you got your x-men series uh miss peregrine's home for peculiar children exodus guys of kings fantastic four hitman life of pie i'm thinking about getting those two for 30 bucks i don't know if it's a real good deal or not um i'm gonna get hitman and life of pie probably Independence Day Resurgence. I don't even think I got that in my collection yet. Hidden Figures. I don't even know if it's worth it. Good money, good movie, but is it worth the 4K treatment? Probably not. Uh, Revenant, Assassin's Creed, Horrible, Alien Covenant, and The Martian. So, eh, decent little selection. Not too great. All right, so I'm done um, checking to see price match and all that good stuff. So I just decided to create my own two for 30. So. Once again, that's another way you guys can save when you're out at the store. Just go ahead and start uh, price matching stuff that you know you want to get. See if you can get a better price on it. Best Buy pretty much uh, price matches everybody, but you know some stores got to be in your local area. So I can't price match the fries, major, or certain stores like that because I don't have that here in Raleigh. But nonetheless, I can always check Amazon. I can check Walmart, Target, and just go ahead and get it from here and get my Shopkick points. So they got a two for 30 deal. I just showed you guys that and I ended up creating my own two for 30. So you guys spend a little extra time in the store and do things like this, man. Save you a couple extra bucks. Your boy Slim Nine Dime always trying to get you them steals and D. All right, so we done in Best Buy. Y'all know what the deal is, man. We gonna get some food. We gonna go ahead and uh, pull this out the bag. Show y'all what I got. Like I said, I created my own two for 30 from going on Amazon and doing a quick little price match. So let's grab something to eat and then we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and show you what it is because no point in me getting home and trying to show you or whatever. We're going to do this one take Jake, no clips, no editing, none of that. Giving y'all that content that you asked for. Let's go, man. All right, you guys. So scratch everything I just said. I decided I ain't got nothing to do right now. Don't have to be to work for a little bit longer. So we're going to another Best Buy. We're right in front of it. 
I'm about to go inside, see if they got any movies on display that weren't at the last store, and we could price match even some more. So your boy is trying to pick up all the 4Ks. I threw away what I said about I ain't buying 4Ks unless, you know, it's a movie that I really want. I'm trying to get my numbers up, trying to provide y'all more content. Let's get inside. Let's go. All right, so I ain't going to deny, man, this location is very small, very compact. I haven't been down here, man. It's like 10 minutes from my job. Usually when I come down this way, I just go to um, the BJ's that's across the street. But this one, man, it's so compact in here. And I guess I see they got their red flags up. We always look for them red flags for savings, man. I guess my store just doesn't put them up anymore or something because they got them here. And the last movie I just brought at the past store, they actually, the price was lower than what was advertised on this, this little white slip like this. So I guess they just didn't put them little red flags up. I got to let them know about that, man. We, we come for the, the red flags. I want to show y'all what's on sale y'all hit the stores up if you hadn't hit it by time you seen my video but pretty much this is the 4k section man it's just this side of a run i mean not bad it just feels so tight in here because it's so small i guess i'm so used to the other stores by now that they're a lot wider so nonetheless man let me take a look real quick see what's in here see what we can pick up can't say I'm not really feeling this location and it just feels so tight I'm used to a little more space in the store um, the one thing I do like is they got their whole 4k section all in a row the other store I just went to you know they sometimes mix in their blues with their 4k's on certain sides of the display here they're straight across so I do like that oh that's pretty dope right there you see it up in the corner right there yeah that's pretty dope I like that I haven't seen that in stores I guess that was a uh, last jedi um release thing or something i don't know but i can't say i don't know do you ever feel like you just used to something certain so when you go somewhere else or something it just doesn't feel right and that's how i feel in here i mean the location is okay you know it's less people in here so i ain't gotta worry about people looking at me and all that but there's more workers because it feels more compact up in here but other than that i i definitely say i probably wouldn't come down to this location unless i had to um, and I'm not even seeing other movies like that I thought I might see here that I'll probably pick up. So I doubt we're even going to get anything unless this one movie I'm looking at right in front of me is a lot cheaper than what's advertised because one of them in the series is a lot cheaper and I don't see it advertised for that price. So give me a second. I'm going to have to hit up Amazon, Target, and Walmart real quick on my phone and see if the price is cheaper and see if we can walk out of here with this today, man. Just give me one second. We'll be right back. All right, so we definitely took the L here at this location. Um, so the movie I had, I was questioning about that I was saying, you know, maybe the price would be a little bit different was uh, Tomb Raider 4K. I was hoping that would be a lot cheaper so I could pick that up. Um, some of the other ones I was thinking about were like Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Life, Passengers, uh, Inferno I'm looking for. Um, some of the ones that's just like $14.99 right now or something like that. That's basically what I was out searching for as I went to this one. Um, saw the, pretty much the same um, same movies, just different price. They actually had the prices advertised. But other than that, man, I, I didn't like this location. Um, they did have like a police officer at the door with the security guy. So I don't even know if they'd be having problems at this location or not. But it looks like it's always dead in here. So maybe that's what brings i i don't know usually uh thieves only come around when places are busy because they're concealed a little bit more by what's going on it's too many people to really keep up usually when it's less people they're not going to be there because there's too many associates around looking at what everyone what people are doing always asking hey you need some help with anything i don't know it's kind of weird or maybe somebody got caught stealing but he was right there at the front door standing but Unless, man, I ain't like this location. Probably won't be back for quite some time unless I order something and they're the only ones with it. Probably won't hit that one up. Um, nonetheless, man, like I said, let's go get something to eat. It's like 2.30. I got like another hour till I got to be to work. So we're going to get something to eat and I'll show y'all what I got from the first location. Let's go. Right, man let's go ahead and finish this up 
That was a good meal. Just had. Let's go ahead and finish this up so I ain't gotta have y'all wait till I get to the house so I can get this video uploaded. Um, like I said, created our own two for 30 deal. So I picked up zero dark 30. Y'all watch the videos. Y'all already know I said I wanted this. Unfortunately, man, this slip case looks a little, I know part of it's just the illustration and the color and everything on it, but it looks so beat up and old. There was actually an old sticker right here in the corner. You see that little piece? That corner by the 4K? So it's like there used to be a sticker there that somebody pulled off and then you see the shrink wrap is already a little torn right here on the corner. See that? So, but this was the last copy. So I had no choice but to take it if I wanted it. So I just went ahead with it. Um, next movie doesn't even have a slip case. I hate that. I don't know why I hate it, but I just rather have that slip case around it. So I hate these little cheaper movies. Well, this ain't really cheap, but I hate these movies that don't come with slip covers. But nonetheless, man, we picked up Resident Evil, the final chapter. Have not seen this movie. I'm quite sure it was kind of probably garbage. Um, probably a decent popcorn flick to just watch one good time. But I wanted it in my collection. I like uh, Miller and Resident Evil. I only really liked the second Resident Evil movie. That was pretty much the only decent one to me. But I am eager to kind of pop this open and watch it. I, don't, I really don't know why, but I'm quite sure the picture quality probably looks pretty decent. Um, does have HDR, so... Picked up two for 30, man. Like I said, take a little bit of time, man. Do your research. Get your price, uh, your competitors' uh, prices to see if you can get your um, prices down, man. Save some money. Um, of course, Best Buy's got their own two for 30, but we created our own by taking a little bit of time and just comparing some prices. So you guys can get in there and do the same thing while they're running their little deals. These movies are getting a little bit cheaper and cheaper by the week. Um, next week on Tuesday, what we got coming out, The Greatest Showman, um, The Incredible Hulk, looking forward to that. Um, looks like the prices are down below 20 bucks, so that's probably going to be a definite pickup. Plus, I love the, uh, the second one with Ed Norton. I was kind of upset when they switched from Ed Norton, but, oh boy, he's done a pretty good job in the Avengers films, but I did like Ed Norton as, uh, The Hulk. But nonetheless, man, that's what's coming up. This Tuesday, I believe there's another movie I can't really remember offhand right now. My mind's on something else. But nonetheless, man, thanks again for watching another vid. It's your boy Slim9. If you ain't saying the dime, you ain't saying it right. Nine dime, we out.